Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I thought I did some, I would do some mermaid waves or mermaid, however that's pronounced, just to go along with the vibe of the video. We're gonna be talking about tanning routine, which is amazing because we all need a little bit of color in us especially at this time of the year i hope that you guys agree with that and uh i decided to put this video together because i have made so many mistakes throughout the years with tanning routine tanning products that claim to be something and it really was not and uh i feel like i have something to say about it <laughs> so if you guys are new here my name is karina i am pumped you're here go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video Video and subscribe to the channel if you're into this types of videos like beauty lifestyle fashion I got all kinds of goodies happening in here for the ladies are you guys ready let's do this okay so in this video I am going to be breaking down my pre tanning and my post tanning techniques to make sure or ensure that my tanning will last as long as possible just in home so if I am going I, I did mention this in a previous video here but if I am going somewhere like for for an example if I'm going to the beach I will do like a professional tanning in the salon just because it's even it's great and it lasts a long time too it's just a lot nicer than the at home ones you know for some reason the products that they use is like I don't know it's just amazing so anyway that said I will keep it up with my in-home techniques throughout the time that I'm at the beach but for my everyday day-to-day -day, you guys this is what I do and so I rarely go to the tanning salon unless I am going to the beach hope that's clear okay so one thing that I highly recommend you guys for the first time tenors or even for people who have been tanning for a while is to do it at night so usually I take a shower at night and I do all of my exfoliation so let's let's get started with this exfoliate always because you're sure to like get the, the pre-tanning you know the tanning that's like fading and just not looking great out of the way you're prepping your skin and then you can shave so if I may I want to recommend this Billy shaving cream and the shaving like wand here or razor whatever it's called because I've never had a closer shave than these guys I have a lot of razor burn my skin is very sensitive to razor and to even like waxing it just I get so many like bumps and these guys have definitely kept it at bay and I do have the subscription so based on how many times you shave it will show up like a couple of times a month or one time every two months or however often you shave I can't remember mine but I don't shave every day so I want to say like once a week or twice a week so if you are shaving I do recommend that you do a cream that's designed for the razor burns so that way when you put the tanning lotion on top of it it's not your pores are not going to be open and prompt to like infection not infections but it's like it's just burns it stings and it's I'm I'm guessing it's not a good thing to put tanning products into like open wounds so you know not an expert here on that side of things but uh, just thought I'd say that so you guys this is the dry by body lotion so really really like this guy for that reason it just like helps to heal my shaving and then preps my skin for detaining so regardless of what shaving and what shaving cream you do or what moisturizer make sure that your skin is moisturized like 100% even if you skip the exfoliation like this is the one thing that will really make a difference in how long your tanning is gonna last and how it's gonna look so I've done I've made the mistake of not moisturizing before and it was just cracked and it did not look good even like moisturizing after the fact it did not help so even if you're going to the tanning salon to make sure that it is moisturized so at night I would just go take a shower shave exfoliate all of that good stuff then get off the shower then I will do my tanning process and then I sleep on it and then I shower in the morning so that to me is better because first of all it will ensure that I stay with it for at least 10 hours you know by the time that I shower wake up and shower again in the morning it gives me like 8 to 10 hours which is plenty of time for the tan product to develop on the skin for my favorites in here you guys I have used so many different ones and I actually have them in here don't 
love it. I'll tell you what I'm loving right now is the Tenologist Express Tan. This is actually the Self Tan Mousse in Dark and it's just a mousse like this. So I utilize a mitten, which by the way, out of everything, you have got to get this mitten. I have had the Saint-Tropez mitten. Like a lot of the tanning products come with like one of those, it looks like more of a disposable meat mitten and I do not recommend those. Like they would just die on you like really quickly. This one's just an Amazon find and it is a velvet um, mitten and you guys, it's easy to hang dry like on your shower or on your like, you know, what whatever vanity wherever you do your tanning it dries out quickly and it's just like it's the best way to spread the product and have no streaks so swear by this guy in here so definitely use this I do like the water tan which I'm gonna show you here real quick but this is the best tanning up the mousse one for, to make it last longer I like the water to kind of like spot treats if some area is fading I'll just go and use the water also from Tenologist and also the um, dark one. So the water is a little bit easier. You don't necessarily need the mitten. I'll just like go and spray. I'm not gonna spray here, obviously, because I already have it. You know, it's spraying my hands. Sometimes, obviously, my hands are gonna fade a lot faster. My toes are gonna fade a lot faster. And so sometimes I use the water to do that, which is almost over in here but the mousse is definitely my favorite to last now they do have an express version which i love so much you guys that it's it's gone and it's been snowing so bad i couldn't even get out of the house to get a new one to show you but i'll definitely link down here for you it's the same stuff as this except that it's like a two hour express at 10 so and it, it is tinted this guy here is not tinted it comes out in the glove clear like a clear foam and as it develops you will see on your skin but but if you do need color or if you do like to see the color right away which I do I recommend the the other one the two-hour Express because that one is tinted let's go for face face I use the same tenologist and by the way guys this is not a sponsor thing I do right recognize that I'm showing a lot of the products but it's because it works and it works so well for me especially for my olive skin so I don't know if for fair skin or if you're a little bit darker if it would do the same effect but I swear by these guys here and with this it's super easy I just do a couple of drops of this on my moisturizer at night you know before like so I do my my skincare routine and when it comes to the moisturizer I do a couple of drops, put it on. One important tip, wash your hands, otherwise it will be all weird on, on the palms of your hands. So as long as you're washing your hands, you can go to bed and the next day it will be great. Also make sure that you get your neck and maybe like your decolletage because it's gonna be showing. On my back, I usually use the mitten and just kind of like rub it in here. I don't see much of a difference. Once you wash it off, it's you're not gonna have like streaks in the back. So do not worry about getting like every little bitty thing. For my knees or my heels and the hands, just be careful. What I usually do is I moisturize and then I just go like this and that's it. Don't go like, in between anything just gives a little bit of a glow to the hand and I feel like that's plenty and it's totally enough for me okay now say you have somewhere to go and you don't have time for the tin to develop or even if with the express one from this it will it does take a little longer and sometimes I mean you will look a little bit green when the tin is develop developing on you especially with the dark one the extra dark and dark so if that's the case you have somewhere to go and you you just want to get a tan like right away look great and that's it then I recommend this guy I know this is super popular on Instagram the loving tan to our express this is the dark mousse too so I get this at Amazon and I like to have it always handy because there has been a lot of situations where I had to go out and like shoot a look and my my legs were pasty and it was like a spring looker however the situation was and I needed a little color this is incredible so it gives the color right away it's almost automatic it says two hour express but to me I can see it right on the application the only problem with this guy unfortunately is that the tan does not last as long so it will give you like a good today tan you know but then after that it's gone versus this guy that will give you it takes a little longer to develop but it will give you a good solid like five to seven days especially if you're taking care of it 
afterwards so you know it's all about the needs whatever you guys need that's you know that should be the right product for you a couple of products so a way that makes to make the tan last so a post tanning technique is so after you shower for the first time moisturize you guys and this is the coco cabana cream i've showed you guys this before it's one that i swear by to make that tan extend if you guys go to the tanning salon like um i don't know those franchises what is this like Sunton city and that that kind of place they will have all of like the more professional stuff in there i honestly have had a couple of those in the past don't necessarily care for them they all smell like cocoa and it's just like the particular smell that I don't I, I don't know it just doesn't suit me I feel like this does just equally great of a job and it smells a lot nicer and it probably has much much better ingredients than those guys there just saying if, if I'm wrong you guys please correct me and make sure that you leave me the comments here if you swear by any of those products leave us the name in here too so we can actually go out and try them but for me this is what it's it works the best now a couple of things to enhance your tan is the JLo Beauty so this is like a liquid highlighter that just came out recently and I do like to use this on my face and on my body too. I feel like if you just use on your body in certain places where the light hits, it just gives that glow. But you can also dissolve or dilute it in the moisturizer and that just, it's not like too much. It's like a more subtle glow. And uh, this guy is does also the same thing. You can mix with the moisturizer or you can do it by itself. And this is a beauty counter glow shimmer oil. So I do like the oil a lot, for, especially for the summertime. I'll tell you what, you guys, it's been so long since I have this product and I bought like three of them when I did order so I have it lasting me I don't know years so I don't know if it's still available or if they still carry this but if they do I will link it it's one of those that are like really good works the same way as this this is a lot creamier like a lot thicker and this is just a lot more runny but you know as far as like the effect I feel like this is just a little bit stronger if you want something a little more subtle I will go with this beauty counter one the more you do it too the more you figure things out but I feel like these tips will just help you to not look crazy <laughs> on the first times that you're tanning. Hopefully you will find this product to be equally amazing as I have. So do let us know if there's another tanning product that you guys love and swear by it. I am totally open to try new things. Always, always, always. Also, you guys, I wanted to ask you to leave some ideas of other videos that you might want to see here on the channel. We have our March kind of like on the schedule, but I'll always open to more. I saw that our Zara haul did so well, so I am planning another one for spring coming up here in a couple of weeks, so do stay tuned for that, and I hope this was helpful for you and you were able to learn something new. I'll see you next time. Um beijo. Tchau, tchau.